Hello fellow beekeepers, Matthew here with New Hope Farm in Apiary and I just wanted to take a minute to go over a new Lega 8-20 frame honey extractor. These are made in Italy and sold by Blue Sky Bee Supply here in the US. Uh, it'll hold 8, medi eight deeps, 20 mediums. Um, cost me $1,900 delivered. So they're $1,700 plus a couple hundred dollars in shipping. Uh, they ship freight. Uh, it shipped fairly quickly. Um, this is fresh out of the box. You basically bolt the legs on and you bolt the little motor controller on and it's ready to go. One of the primary reasons we bought this one was it has a bottom mount motor on it, which makes it uh, very clean on top, very easy to open. Um, you can pop the lid open here. You can see down inside it has the clear cover. Um, the two things that stand out to me that um, are a little off for me, one is there's no real support when you open up the lid on the back. There's really nothing to hold it, and you can see, and actually what it hits on is right here, this little hinge piece. It actually rests. You can kind of see that it rests there. So kind of think that's a little bit of a design flaw. The other thing that's slightly more annoying is that the discharge honey gate is on the back from where you load it. Uh, it just makes positioning of the extractor a little bit more challenging. You can't have it up against a wall, so it does kind of have to sit out in the open. Um, I'll fire it up here just so you can see it. It's really quick. There's a little power switch here on the side. And you have a little speed dial. And it you just has a, a soft start. So you just turn the switch and it starts up. Super, super quiet. Uh, we haven't extracted any honey yet. We'll be doing that this afternoon. And if you need to change the speed, you can turn it up. And if you want to change, slow it down, you can slow it down. Kind of has a little bit of a break on it. Really slows it down. And when you're ready, now while it's spinning, you can't, it's locked. You can't lift the lid open. So you stop it. And then you wait till it clicks and then it'll let you open it up there you go now it's off so now we can open up the lid and we're done anyway we have uh five boxes of honey frames to do this afternoon i'll record that and follow up here we are loading in some frames into the extractor this is the second time we've run it through they're actually held very well by the little curved uh, metal pieces here they slide in nicely. The door tips up out of the way. Uh, makes it real easy to get in there. And here we're starting it up for the first time. You can see it's just a soft start. Spins up slowly. Here you can see the honey being flung out of the frames. And then we'll move around to the back side here and we can see the honey coming out of the honey gate. I do like that the bottom of the tank will hold quite a bit of honey before it reaches the bottom of the frames. It's a problem we had with some of the other extractors. Uh, here we are uh, full speed, not full speed on the dial, and we found that we can't go much over about half on the speed dial before it really starts shaking. Um, so balance can be an issue. We did our third run was missing a few frames. We didn't have a fully loaded extractor. And then here we are just taking out the extracted frames. Did a really good job of extracting. Really happy with how it, how it worked. We finished up the day by cleaning the extractor which is pretty easy to do since both halves of the top open up and give you full access to the inside. 